Hello, Aries. Fire sign brothers and sisters, what's going on? You guys are always so patient, and I appreciate you so much. Because you guys always go like last or next to last because of, you know, when I started doing the readings, and I feel so bad. And I appreciate your patience so much. You guys are great. Anywho, it is time for your reading. Again, I'm going to apologize for the delay. For those of you who did not catch score, um, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, or Pisces, and you didn't watch the video they made over the weekend, I desperately needed to take a break because I was drained as fuck. I'm not going to lie. Last week was rough. I worked a ridiculous amount of hours. I worked way too many days in a row, and I know better, especially with health, sh health issues that I've been having. So, yeah, anywho, it's time for your reading. Please give me a little bit easier of a time than the four signs that I've done in the last 12 hours did. Okay? <laughs> please, please, please. Uh, Aquarius and Pisces were a little rough, just saying. Anywho, let's not speak of that, because I don't want to fuck up your energy. Okay. This may or may not resonate with you, Aries. If it resonates with you, cool. Take whatever message you're supposed to. Go forth. Do you. Live your best life. Vibrate high. Bring the fire. If it doesn't resonate with you, it just wasn't your message, it's not your reading, and we'll try again next time, because there will always be a next time with Big Mama Sage. Okay. If you are not an Aries, and you happen to stumble upon this, and you can take a message out of it, hey, that's cool too. You are more than welcome. It is your will to do so, if you so choose. Cross watchers. How you doing? You're welcome here too. If you can take a message out of this, if this resonates with your half of the situation, that's okay. Anywho, I'm going to stop running my mouth and start throwing down some cards. Heavenly Father, Mother Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus now to the 15th of June. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, now to the 15th of June. One more. The tower for your overall energy. You know, I could have swore that a minute and a half ago, I asked you guys to give me an easier time. But I guess it is what it is. Towers are not bad. Remember, when towers fall, you can rebuild your life in a fucking way you want to. This is probably, the way I look at it, one of the most beautiful cards in the tarot. Because that's a card of opportunity. But, with that opportunity, you often have to wait for dust to settle. that makes any sense to you. But in the past you have temperance. Something I need to know. Knight of Wands. Current entity. Five of Swords. Blockage. The Empress. Immediate future. Eight of Wands. Outcome, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Aries. <clears throat> I 
I think in the past there was a situation that required you to have patience and find balance. And inner peace. This is a crazy card if you really look at it. I'm going to hold this up because this, this is crazy. Just to try to explain what I'm talking about here. Okay, do you see the gears and the water? Can you see that? The water flowing out of the gears. Where's the water coming from? The water's coming within you. It's about maintaining your emotions. And she's standing with one foot on the land and one foot in the water. You see that? That's ebb and flow. It's the way the universe works. It's a give and take. It's balance. Oh, but it, whoa. This chair does not have a back, and I often forget that. Okay. Knight of Wands. This is an interesting card. This is the Playboy Playgirl. It's pictured as a woman in this particular de deck, the steampunk deck. They call it the Playboy of the Tarot. It's in and out energy, player like tendencies, comes in quick, leaves quick, usually doesn't hang out long, only wants one thing. And I'm not sure if this was the cause or the outcome of the tower. It is fire energy though. Currently, You're in the energy of the Five of Swords. And this is another interesting card that I'm going to hold up. Do you see down in the corner here where there's sunlight? But the three people, and the dispute over the swords or the discussion, they're in the shadows. So to me, this card discusses what goes on behind closed doors or what goes on within a person. So I think on the inside, you could possibly be having some conflict or you could be having conflict with another person and not expressing how you feel. Or it could mean internal conflict within yourself. Take it however it resonates and we're going to get some clarity. The blockage or obstacle is the Empress. The Empress is cool. She is the mother of the tarot. She is the divine feminine. Often depicted as pregnant. So sometime when she, when she pops up, a reader might say it could relate to a family situation. I'm not seeing this in this instance, but again, we're going to get some clarity because we're not very far in. Just keep in mind and I'm hearing this. She doesn't chase anybody. She makes people chase her. And she's showing up as the obstacle. Very interesting. In your immediate future, we have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands depicts communication. It can also depict moving on or moving forward very quickly. Again, you're going to take it however it resonates, and we're going to clarify. Outcome, will of fortune. This depicts the end of a cycle, usually a karmic one. It's in the upright. In fact, none of the cards have been showing up in the reverse lately. That's actually pretty wild. It also talks about all fixed zodiacs. So, Taurus, Leo... Aquarius, Scorpio.
This tower has me weirded out areas, I'm not going to lie. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's an odd energy for me to see an Aries in. Alright, let's get some clarity on this temperance card real quick. Temperance and balance in the past. Ebb and flow, patience, balance. Three of cups, celebration. Temperance is the card of Sagittarius. By the way, it could have been a Sagittarius you were dealing with. Three of Cups, Four of Wands. Celebration, Foundation, Doors Opening, 1111, Soulmate Connection, Soulmate, Twin Flame, Foundation, Balance. Page of Cups, Messages and Offers of Love. Speaking of upright cards, Five of Pentacles reversed. I think in the distant past, there was a Sagittarius or a person that exhibited Sagittarian-like tendencies, or in regards to the situation, they brought balance into your world. You guys hung out, you had a good time, could very well be a soulmate or twin flame connection. There was exchanges of offers of love, but at some point, So the Five of Pentacles is reversed, so that would be coming out of the cold. Nine of Swords. of Pentacles. I think you did not want to put this person out into the cold. But you had to make a difficult choice. I think you had a few sleepless nights over this Aries. And I think you had a new financial opportunity that you had to change. Had, a, had to chase. So this person had to get left out in the cold. But here's the kicker. I don't think this person was very committal anyway. So I think you would have kept it going with this person had they not been so damn non-committal. That's where this Knight of Wands comes in. Very non-committal in and out energy. That sounds an awful lot like a Sagittarius come to think of it. Could have been a Sagittarius you were dealing with. I'm not trying to put our fellow fire signs on blast. I'm not trying to put myself on blast. I'm just saying. If anybody's going to be non-committal, it's going to be a Sagittarius. And I think that's where the tower moment came in. It kind of came crashing down around you. Clarify this Knight of Wands real fast. Knight of Cups. There's definitely love there. And they wanted to make it happen with you. Ten of Pentacles, but... I 
I think you were their dream come true. Or they were your dream come true. But then again, logic had to intervene and you had to make a new start elsewhere. Now let's come down to the present energy that you're in. Five of Swords. Conflict, things going on in the shadows, things going on inside, behind closed doors. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Still working your ass off, putting the work in. Hierophant. I think maybe you've gone on a little spiritual journey, Aries. Possibly a soulmate life lesson. You've attained balance. Equal give and take. Awesome. You're lonely. You're very lonely. Not emotionally fulfilled. Spiritual journeys do that, though. Time of self-reflection, but you're putting the work in. Again, Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work. Doing what you need to do. Six of Cups, but you missed somebody. Six of Cups speaks of nostalgia. Someone from your past. What's this Empress about? Cool. Leap of faith. King of Swords. Logical head over heart decisions. Four of Pentacles, but you're holding on to something. It's a really odd song to be coming into my head right now. It's part of the clear audience. Let me explain for a second. I'm convinced that my late father is one of my spirit guides. And every once in a while, and I know he hangs out with me all the time. Seven of Wands, Inner Conflict. If I'm struggling with a reading or something is not making sense in my head, I will hear a song pop into my head. I'll hear my dad singing. And the song that he was just singing is going to make sense in a couple of minutes. Possibly. But I'm not going to tell you what song it is because I don't want to get sued. Anyway, you're holding on to something. I think you're feeling ignored by someone, possibly this person from your past. I think you kind of feel snubbed. You I think you were ready to make a new start. But you got snubbed, so you're kind of being cold and icy right now. You're still holding on to how it felt emotionally, but it's causing an internal conflict. Again, with the what goes on behind closed doors and inside your head thing. Yeah. And it's kind of causing a crumbling of the foundation inside. 
kind of causing a little mini tower moment within you. One more card on that. Yeah. Hanged man, you're stuck. You're emotionally stuck. Accepting it for what it is, trying to see things from their perspective, but you're stuck. You're hanging out in this tower energy, being crushed under the rubble. Internally. Because you're in Aries... Not trying to put you on blast. God forbid you would ever admit that you are crumbling inside. No. No, because fire signs are extreme. We're fucking champions at hiding on what's going on internally. We will put on a face and be confident to the world. And inside we are a fucking mess. It's what we do. It's just how we roll. And we gotta stop that shit. Especially you, Aries. You're the best at it. Every Aries friend I know, it is so hard to read them. So hard. I mean, it's easy for me because I'm an empath. But, you know, some of my Aries friends are just that good at hiding what's going on inside. I have to be having one of my extremely intuitive days to be able to catch it right off the bat. Okay, let's come down to the immediate future. I have an Eight of Wands. I'm not seeing this as moving on. I'm seeing this as communication opening up. But you're guarded. You want to communicate. But your guard's up. Two of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. Faux show. Ten of Swords. I think this is a little painful, will be a little bit painful for you. And I think you're almost afraid to reach out because you just don't want, you don't want the pain. This is painful. It's already been painful. I think you got rejected or you feel like you got rejected, kind of got friend zoned a little bit maybe. And you're just, you're emotionally closing yourself off. You acknowledge that it is what it is, but it hurts. Nine of Pentacles, independent, stubborn. I'm good without you. I'm going to put a face on to the world that I'm okay when I'm really crumbling inside. This is the energy I'm getting off this right now, Aries. Putting on your face. I did what I had to do. They did what they had to do. You get your wish fulfillment. Card of Aquarius, by the way. You get your wish fulfillment. So I think you're going to get whatever you manifest out into the universe with this. I think ultimately, Aries, you need to decide what you want. Do you want... Do you want to rebuild the tower? Do you want to be the phoenix out of the ashes? Do you want to try to salvage something out of this? Or do you just want it to fade away? What's this world card, Wheel of Fortune about? Chariot. Okay, moving forward or being pulled in two different directions? Taming a beast. Card of Leo, by the way. Death, transformation, rebirth. Judgment, resurrection. Four swords at the bottom of the deck. Well, Aries... I think this could possibly be resurrected, but you have to decide what you want. What exactly out of this do you want to resurrect? 
I think you indeed miss this person, but I think you've accepted it for what it is. But I think it still hurts. And that's why you're blocked. It hurts. It's causing internal conflict. That I'm sure you will shove through magnificently. Okay, energy of the person you're dealing with. The Empress. Well, damn. Nine of Wands, they were guarded in the past. Judgment. Prince of Wands. Knight of Wands. Two of Cups. Seven of Wands. They're having the same. Ex <laughs> Eight of Swords. They are mirroring, mirroring the fuck out of you right now, Aries. They are. They are the Empress energy. They want you to chase them. They don't chase nobody. In the past, they were guarded. They had their guard up. They were wounded. Judgment. Resurrection. They changed after this. They... They became somebody else. I think they had like a spiritual fucking experience after this shit went down. But at the same time, they're still in that non-committal energy. But they acknowledge this as a soulmate connection. Seven of Wands, Internal Conflict, Eight of Swords, Cage of Their Own Thoughts. Wow. I think they're still a little bit messed up over you, Aries. Nine of Swords, and they're being kept up at night. Check that shit out. What? 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 Damn. How's that make you feel? You got somebody all messed up. They don't want to commit, but they want you to chase them. You want to go back and play cat and mouse with somebody, go for it. It's your journey. Shared energy, two of wands, making a choice, seven of wands, internal conflict in the past, king of cups, deep emotion, page of cups, messages of love in the current, king of wands, passion, love and passion, choices, fork in the road, love and passion, immediate future, end of a burdensome cycle. Three of Pentacles, putting in the work for the outcome. Coming back together. I don't know in a romantic sense, but the sun's shining at the end of the day. That's beautiful. It's pretty awesome, Aries. Okay. Quick oracle message. Go the distance. I'm going to pause. Well, okay, I just read real quick what this card talks about. It talks about going the distance, the long haul, allowing a relationship to transform into friendship. Okay, let's get a card. Your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Please help me clearly hear, see, feel, and know the divine guidance that I have asked and prayed for. Allow me to keep my ego 
out of the way so your wisdom can come streaming through me for my own benefit and for those around me. Aries, this is beautiful. Know that you're loved. Be blessed. I appreciate your patience. Thank you so much. And I will catch you guys in the middle of June. Bye-bye.